So this is it. Win this game and we're more than likely qualified at least for the Europa League in our Champions League group stage. So let's get into it. It's FC Basel away from home. Roll the intro. Hello everybody, welcome back to the NK Marrow Save. I am Cultured Left Foot, it's a pleasure to have you with me. And yes, we are doing pretty well actually. Uh, it's all going very, very well. Yeah, there's, there's no way to say it. I mean, 4-0 win last time we were together against Basel. A great performance at home. A much needed win in the Champions League group stage. And then a 3-0 win over Rad... Oh, excuse me, Radomilj. Louise with a double and Zahovic with a goal as well. 3 0 uh, was that one. Then a 6 2 win over Triglav. Uh, Has Kazabanovic got two goals. Masalowski got a hat trick and Daniel got one as well. And then a 4 0 win against Domzale, where we rested a hell of a lot of players. Metsuin got an injury, which isn't too much of a big deal for our first 11, but it might off put PSG making a bid, which could be a little bit annoying. Um. We played two debutants in this game. They both scored. Mateusz Simic, the centre-back, uh, Slovenian centre-back, who's looking pretty useful, to be honest. 5 foot 11 got a goal from a corner. And the other goal scorer was the prolonged debut of Sasa Kola, who looks absolutely incredible for a 17-year-old Slovenian. Three under-21 caps for them already. Came through our youth team. One appearance, one goal, and a 7.5. I think he's someone... We're going to be hope hopefully holding on to and seeing quite a bit in our team progressing through the years is, well, yeah, Sasa Kola looks very good. The other goals in that one, Lucas Bejga and uh, Matteo Mejia as well, who's not got too much football today. Very tempted to cash in and sell him. But he is a good backup option, something different. A tall striker, sort of target man striker, looking uh, pretty useful. But Basel are up today. And um, to be fair, we should be winning the game. But the competition, the group, as you can see, they are bottom with a minus seven goal difference and zero points. We're third, three points after beating them, a goal difference of plus one. Real Madrid are second, six points with a goal difference of plus one. And PSG are, well, top nine points and a goal difference of plus five. Yet to lose, played three, one, three, beating all of us in the group. Two, one, four, two, and three, one as well. Madrid... Well, they uh, they beat us and Basel only just as well. They only just beat both of us. So, you never know. Get them back to Slovenia. We might be able to take something. You just don't know about it. But let's get into the game. It is game day very soon. I was going to say now, but it's not. But it is game day very, very soon as our under-19s beat under the under-18s of Basel. I mean, what was the score? That's all I really want to know. It says we stormed to victory. I don't want to read it. Just give me the score. 6-1, uh, 6-1, bloody hell, we did absolutely annihilate them. Goran Compada got the uh, got, an, got a hat-trick, and he's not looking too bad, actually. He's a 16-year-old as well, so good pace, good finishing, good dribbling. I mean, off the ball needs a little bit of work, but yeah, overall, he looks uh, he looks pretty decent as well as a 16-year-old. So, anyway, now we will pick the team, and uh, we'll be right back to get into the game. No messing around. 2-2, two, two, Madrid and PSG. Um, actually, oh, wow, ooh, that opens it up somewhat, doesn't it? Win this game, we're only a pint off Real Madrid, get something out of that, you never know, you never know. Right, let's go and pick a team, we'll be right back. So we're going to line up with what is a pretty settled team now, to be honest. Dalberg in goal, Matos, Zalatel, Lietti and Procalo at the back, who's not quite match fit. We're going to see how he gets on after 75 minutes. Mateus Fernandes and Luis Zhao in the middle. Musilowski on the right. Otara in the middle. Machino on the left. And Daniel up front. On the bench, Joel Pereira, Rox, Meja, Haxabanovic, Zahovic, Sturm, Gallagher and Matko as well. And Tim Jelznik is dropping down the pecking order somewhat. He's not been brilliant. Might cash in. He's worth 1.2 million. We might see what we can get from him. Obviously, we did a part exchange for Jan Repas. But Rock Meja is... He's impressing me when he plays in the league. Eight appearances, one goal, one assist, 7.19. Yeah, I think he's got something about him, Rock. But uh, that's how we're going to line up. Let's get into the game. So here we are then at St. Jacob Park. 4-2-3-1 narrow for Basel, the home team. Arthur Cabral is one of their better players, the striker. He's scored 11 goals in 17 games so far, according to the commentary. But we're playing our 4-2-3-1. Should be a, uh, a, de a decent performance, I'd say. And there's the Champions League group as well. So with uh, it's very close. That draw from Madrid and PSG sort of does us, does us, does us a favour. We're more just uh, worried about the likes of Madrid and PSG beating Basel when they play them next. So 
we do need that to uh, to sort of happen. But Monaco beating Munich away from home is uh, by mention is a very interesting result. As Procarlo throws this one in, Louis out back to Procarlo in our well yellow away kit. I was struggling with the words, but it's the yellow away kit. Louis out ball across back post. Ah, oh! Musalowski, what are you playing at, son? That's an easy finish. That should have been a goal. So 15 minutes gone. Not too much to report, really. We've had a shot on target. They've had no shots on target. It's been a pretty uh, even game. I guess a draw suits us as well. It puts us on four points and them on th on one. So, yeah, I, I, I'm not too fussed if we only draw. But I would like us to score because we battered them 4-0 at home and we really should be showing what we can do, to be honest. So goal kick to be taken by uh, Linda, who sounds like that. Delicious chocolate lint. Do you like lint? Do you like lint chocolate? I like lint chocolate. As it goes to Lietti, back to Bracalo, up to Machino. Machino, who needs to start improving. He's got a club interested in him. Uh, Beijing, go on. But uh, he cuts that one across. Brahim Otada's there. It's 1-0. Come on. That's what he wanted. Half an hour on the mark. And uh, it's a very good team goal, passing it up to the left-hand side. Machino cuts inside. It's a good finish. And here we go. See it in 3D. Uh, well, a different view of 3D. As Machino just yeah, just got all the way. Left foot just laid it back to the other. And no one attracted Otara as the attacking midfielder. And uh, he gives it uh, our good wallop. And it's 1-0 Maribor. Lovely stuff. It's only a couple of minutes until half time and a yellow card apiece. We're 1-0 up. We're sort of now starting to dominate the game. So it is going pretty well. You can see from the XG chart that we've pretty much got on top of it. So I'm just going to say I'm pleased. No subs needed. Uh, we'll probably be on uh, LZ90 to replace Daniel up front because LZ90 loves Europe as we're, we're slowly finding out. He does really appear to love Europe as a... Uh, yeah, I... I just am very intrigued by this Maribor team. I feel like we could go far in the Europa League if we drop down. The Champions League obviously does get you the more coefficient points. It gets you more money in the bank. It's uh, It generally makes life a bit easier. Oh, Zalatel, you absolute penis. What are you playing at? Yeah, that's a red card. That's a red card. Right, we're going to have to sub off one of the wingers. And it's probably going to be Mesolowski because he's not playing the best. And it will be Rock Mayher who comes on because Luca Bejgo wasn't quite fit enough. So uh, Mayher is going to have to sit there. And we're going to stick with the formation. We're not going to change too much more other than that. We will do a double sub, actually. Let's do Daniel off for Zahovic up front because we love a bit of Luca Zahovic, don't we, on this channel? We absolutely love him. Campo with the corner. Swings it in. Totally free-headed. Dolberg, what a save. What a save from Pontus in goal. He's looking... As good, if not better, than Carrius, which is a wonderful thing to say. As so it's headed away the corner. Man City are running riot against Feyenoord. 6 0. Kane has got two. Diaz has got one. Bruno Silva's got one. Uh, at the moment, we're only 1 0 up. But Luis Zhao goes all the way back to Diego Lietti, who's got a bit of time and space to turn. Finds Matos. Ball across, looking for Machino. It's headed away by uh, Widda. But Bracalo turns into Machino again. Otara back to Machino. Out. Oh, lovely little touch to bring Bracalo into play. Tries to get the cross in. It's blocked. Machino gets round Jordi Classy. Luis Al back to Machino. Cross in. Back post. Mateus Fernandez. Come on. 2 0. That's on his first goal of the season and his first goal for Maribor. Lovely header from Mateus Fernandez. It was lovely build up play as well. Very patient. I know he had a couple of crosses that got blocked, but it was all very good. And Luis Al. Back to Machino. It's another assist for Machino, and it's a great header. Back across the goalkeeper from where he's just come from. 2 0 up. We'll hopefully see us through a lovely jubbly. We'll just drop to a positive mentality. As Luca's turned his man. Luca, go on, son. Do it on your own. Or square it. You've got a man at the back post. Luca! Oh! Just off target. What a goal that would have been. Lietti with a good header. Matos. Picks this one up, and he's going to have loads of space in front of him because he's got no right winger in the way uh, after the sending off of uh, Zalatel and Musilowski coming on to replace, oh, coming off, sorry, to be replaced by Rock Mayher. Who's on the ball now? Matos. Back to Mayher. Louis Al. In he goes to Matos. Matos is going to have time. Flicks the ball in. Lukas Ahovic. He's onside. LZ90 gets the goal. No, he's offside. Ah, oh, I saw the linesman tracking back. I thought he was on, but he's gone back to the offside position and put his flag in the air. And has disallowed the goal. It remains 2-0. Disappointing. How close was this? Oh, it's a, nah, it a bit of daylight. A bit of daylight. We'll let him off. So third and final sub. Matos off. We're going to bring Clemens Sturm on the uh, on the right back position just to give us a bit more energy. Make sure we cover any changes they're going to make in the next 20 minutes in terms of a defensive uh, solidarity move. As uh, Machino can't quite win that. It does fall to Otara though. Louis Zhao. Uh, so has Brahim Atari getting in his way. So it goes back to Diego Lietti. Rock Mayher. 
tries to put it in towards Brahim Otara, but it's fallen to Barbosa. Cup it out into Von Moose, who's, oh my God, they've completely run right round us. And that's a good goal, to be fair to him. Fourth goal of the season for Julian Von Moose, which is a good name. And 2-1. Uh, and I mean, look at, I don't know what quite happened to our defence there. Because they had a, a two-on-one, but he just decided to sprint straight past Lietti anyway. Nothing Dahlberg can do with that one. We're going to go back into attacking. I just feel like it suits us better. You know, I feel like it. I feel like we play better on attacking. To be honest, there's we're still playing all right. We're still doing well. Ten minutes to go, two one up, down to ten men for a lot of the game. Uh, Fifty six minutes, Zalatel got sent off on, so it's not been too bad. We've been the better team according to XG. Five minutes to go. Let's hold on, please. Rock Mayers and Stern both on that side. In fact, out of the whole back four, only Lietti's having a decent game. So it wouldn't surprise me if they score again. There is Lietti to head it away. But, oh, Vidmer's tackled well by Machino. Bracalo back to Machino. Goes long. Lukas Ovic is in behind the defence. Oh, it's a good save from Lint Chocolate. It's a great save. And uh, luckily, we don't see a highlight from the corner because I want to waste time. But we've actually gone all the way down the other end. Campo to Zaydu. Zaydu lays it back and Vidmer keeps it alive. Widmer goes the long way round. That's a great tackle. Don't you dare say that's a penalty. There, thank you very much. It's a throw-in. It's a good, good tackle from Machino. And uh, the throw-in is still going to result in something. It results in Brahim Atara nodding it away. Cindy Lauper on the ball. Puts it in. Barbosa tries to bring it down. He's offside. And we can now quickly go into our instructions. We can tell them to waste time. We can tell them to have a much lower tempo. Much short passing. Don't pass into space, and uh, that will do. Let's try and see this out with the final minute ticking away, and there we have it. That should be full time. It is great result for us and the group. Superb. They'd written us off. We proved them all wrong. Why people would write us off after we've just beaten them 4-0. But going down to 10 men and a 2-1 win, that shows we've got Kahunes, I think. And, uh, yeah, Zalatel will miss the next game. 2.46 million for a win. Lovely, lovely stuff. We edge out our opponents. And Machino, two assists, nine key passes, is absolutely brilliant. And it leaves the group looking like this. Basel well and truly out of it now. Zero points and minus eight goal difference. We go on to two goal difference, plus two, six points. Real Madrid just one point above us. It's going to be close. It's going to be interesting. And we welcome next is Real Madrid to Slovenia. And it will be PSG versus Basel. PSG win that game. Basel are out. And we are definitely into the Europa League, which is a positive. So, brilliant stuff. We'll be back for that game against Real Madrid uh, in Slovenia. It will be absolutely cracking. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. It's been a pleasure once again. And uh, I look forward to the next one against Real Madrid. But for now, I'm out. Cheers.